Hello, YouTube. We're going to be talking about Elliot Page coming out as trans very bravely, and unfortunately, the transphobia that he has faced online. I'm going to take you through his message and some of the shit that he has seen and why that is so terrible. Let's get started, shall we? Elliot Page, of course, known for his roles in Juno and Umbrella Academy and also the video game Beyond Two Souls. So this is Elliot's message. Hi friends, I want to share with you that I am trans. My pronouns are he, they, and my name is Elliot. I feel lucky to be writing this, to be here, to have arrived at this place in my life. I feel overwhelming gratitude for the incredible people who have supported me along the journey. I can't begin to express how remarkable it feels to finally love who I am enough to pursue my authentic self. I've been endlessly inspired by so many in the trans community. Thank you for your courage, your generosity, and ceaselessly working to make this world a more inclusive and compassionate place. I will offer whatever support I can and continue to strive for a more loving and equal society. I also ask for patience. My joy is real, but it is also fragile. The truth is, despite feeling profoundly happy right now and knowing how much privilege I carry, I am also scared. I am scared for the invasiveness, the hate, the jokes, and of violence. To be clear, I am not trying to dampen a moment that is joyous and one that I celebrate, but I want to address the full picture. The statistics are staggering. The discrimination towards trans people is rife, insidious, and cruel, resulting in horrific consequences. In 2020 alone, it has been reported that at least 40 transgender people have been murdered, the majority of which are black and Latinx trans women. To the political leaders who work to criminalize trans healthcare and deny our right to exist, and to all of those with a massive platform who continue to spew hostility towards the trans community, you have blood on your hands. You unleash a fury of vile and demeaning rage that lands on the shoulders of the trans community. A community in which 40% of trans adults report attempting suicide. Enough is enough. You aren't being cancelled, you are hurting people. I am one of those people, and we won't be silent in the face of your attacks. I love that I am trans, and I love that I am queer, and the more I hold myself close and fully embrace who I am, the more I dream, the more my heart grows, and the more I thrive. To all trans people who deal with harassment, self-loathing, abuse, and the threat of violence every day, I see you, I love you, and I will do everything I can to change this world for the better. Thank you for reading this. All my love, Elliot. Wonderful, wonderful message from Elliot. Very well written, and brings to the forefront the the unfortunate reality that trans people live a very dangerous life. Trans people receive a lot of hate, a lot of jokes, which are extremely hurtful, and straight up violence, especially trans people of color. It's, it's a fact, like in 2020 alone, I'm I assume he's talking about the US, 40 transgender people have been murdered. And 40% of trans adults report attempting suicide, which is a very high rate. It's almost one in two trans, trans adults. That's a lot of people. So it's very good that Elliot brings this to the forefront because it is very important and we need to work on this. We as a society are very transphobic in big part because we're very ignorant about trans issues and trans people. We're very ignorant, myself included. I have educated myself to a degree, but I still have a lot to learn. And speaking about stuff openly, like Elliot does, is very brave of him because he knows that he's going to get a lot of shit for this, and we're going to go into that in a sec. A lot of vitriol is, is going to come his way. And 
what really frustrates me is that I expect the vitriol from the conservatives. You know, the conservatives were like, huh, well, what? Now nah, everyone can be who they want. Huh? What if I was an attack helicopter? Blah, blah, blah. That that dumb idiot joke that they, they just keep repeating the attack helicopter joke. Like, I expect that from the conservatives. But what I really find frustrating is TERFs. So TERF means trans exclusionary radical feminist. So these are people who claim that they are very big feminists, but then they will shit on trans people really hard, especially trans women. They mostly focus on trans women. Um, that is the, the one that frustrates me the most because TERFs, like, they, they're supposed to be our allies. They're supposed to be on the side of trans people as feminists. They're supposed to be on trans people's side. But they're not. That's what's that's it's so frustrating. Uh, from what I've seen from Twitter, apart from negatives, is that this announcement has brought out a lot of courage from people. Yes, I've seen some people coming out too because of him. Yes, so this is also good because it shows support for the trans community and it also gives the courage for others to step out and talk about their trans experiences and come out. So these are very important to bring trans people more in the limelight to just make trans people a more normal part of society so that it's not so weird and demonized, you know? Uh, also, I kind of have to apologize beforehand because I don't know all the things that are okay to say and the things that are not okay to say. Instead of bashing me, educate me. Yes, yes, yes. I'm talking about things like dead names and questions that I might have, might have and so on. This is a minefield for me, although I want to be as inclusive as I can. And that's really good to acknowledge that you know that you're gonna fuck up and you ask for patience. Uh, I think it's fair, but then, you know, some people might get angry when you, you step on a mine and you have to be okay with that as well. Uh, even though your intentions are not bad, you know? Yeah, like dead names, for example. So for those of you who are not familiar of the turn, uh, dead name is a trans person's previous name before um, they took their current name and Usually, like using that name is not okay. So there's been a lot of discussion now with Elliot coming out about how different uh, news outlets have been talking about this, and the the best way to talk about it is not to bring up Elliot's dead name, but to say you know Elliot Page, known for his roles in Juno and the Umbrella Academy, for example. Then you know who we're talking about, and not to say you know dead name, uh, known for. Uh, his roles in this and this, you know, because that can be very painful for trans people to have their dead name said. But then we have to get to the uncomfortable part, which is the transphobia. And I'm going to use one account as an example. They're, like, I'm not going to go crawling through little accounts. There was one big account that I saw posting some icky stuff and... So this is Ariel Scarcella. I hope I'm saying that right. She is a conservative lesbian sex worker. Which is a very, like, I was going through her YouTube channel and I was just so confused. Because, it, like, in some parts, in, in some parts I'm like, oh, she's like super progressive on like sex work issues and stuff like that and then she posts other videos which are like really chuddy conservative and I'm just like my, my my head was just like trying to grapple with like she seems like such a such an odd person so this is what Ariel Scarcella tweeted much respect for Elliot Page for coming out as trans I still wonder where all the lesbians are going this is a really weird thing to say. This is really weird. What do you mean, where the lesbians are going? They're not going anywhere. That's so weird. Like, this is so weird. Like, wait, what? Like, she makes it sound like lesbians are some kind of dying breed that are... ...leaving 
It doesn't make any sense to me. It's it's ugh, it's icky. And then she says, two things can be true at once. Some people are actually trans. Some lesbians are internally misogynistic and want to be anything other than a woman. This is fucking horrible. This is like peak turf shit. This is peak turf. It's really dismissive of trans people's experience. It's really patronizing. Because you're saying, like, you don't actually want... Like, you only want to not be a woman because of misogyny. And I know this better than you do. It's really, it's really patronizing. It's really dismissive. It's really disrespectful towards trans people. It's really, really disrespectful. And again, notice how TERFs will always focus only on trans women as the only thing that exists where there are, um, there are a multitude of trans people. And I vehemently disagree with this. It's really, really gross and really fucking sucks. And she tweeted more about this. And whenever someone has, like, they are the leader in controversial conversations, that's a red flag. And then here she has, like, her pin tweet is like, if you want uncensored content. And then she has, like, a censored thing that she rips off her, off her, her mouth. It's like. And she has, like, 116k followers. That's why I'm talking about her. Like, she's not a random small account on Twitter. Like... Yeah, she... You've... But, like, she's saying, like, my thoughts on El Elliot Page coming out as trans and the rise in lesbian transitioning. We well what is... What is that based on? This rise in lesbian transitioning? And it makes it sound like becoming trans is akin to, like, conversion therapy that Christians do to the LGBTQ plus people, which is really sick. It's really disgusting. I have less people to be attracted to. Mm, like, shut the fuck up. No one cares. Find other people to be attracted to, you fucking idiot. Let's. This is just a, a snippet of her video, but let's see what you said. Uh, we did it. We lost another lesbian, guys. Fuck you. Fuck you! Lost a lesbian. Ugh. It's really, really gross. I was filming content for my OnlyFans page. Subscribe if you haven't already. I was filming content for my OnlyFans page and I got flooded with messages from you guys telling me that the person formerly known as Ellen Page is now going by- Dead naming. Why are you doing this? Don't dead name them. By Elliot Page. Um, they now go by he, they pronouns. They came out as trans. Let's see what's up. My response is basically this. If they, he is truly trans, good for f Well, <laughs> Okay, so they're saying, like, good for them, but... I don't, I don't believe her. I, I don't believe her. She spends the beginning of the video belittling him. Dead naming him. And there's like, ah, good for him. I, like, sorry, I don't, I don't think you really mean that. It's a weird, weird thing to put, like, lesbians at the top of the LGBTQ, like, hierarchy as the most important one. And this is something that um, TERFs will often do. They'll be kind of, how should I say, gender essentialist. Basically, say everything is about, you know, women being oppressed, which, like, women being oppressed is a big part of things. But just like, not everything is about class, or class is not the only thing we should look at, gender is not the only thing we should look at. But they have this kind of like, everything is about gender. And then like, cause like, she's a sex worker and she's a lesbian, which puts her like in a very specific minority. But then she tweets stuff like this, which like sounds really like, like, you know, anti-SJW chud kind of stuff. Like, uh, five red flags in Twitter bios, listing of their mental illnesses, pronouns in bio, Anime profile pics. I agree with that. Anime profile pic? That can be a red flag. It depends on the person. X don't interact? Activist. Like, this sounds like a typical, you know, right-wing anti-SJW type of person. So it's, like, super confusing to see this type of stuff coming from... Coming from, you know, someone who is in the LGBTQ plus community and also a sex worker. It really confuses me. But 
like Elliot Page is coming out as as trans is not is not a loss to anyone. Like we didn't gay or like lesbian people didn't lose anything. They didn't lose anything in this process. To be like, ah, oh, we lost a person is like it's super selfish and self-centered. Is like I have one less person who I could potentially fuck. And it's like, why is that important? Why why is it important who you who you get to fuck? Like who cares? Shut the fuck up. We don't care who you get to like who 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 you fuck or who you find attractive. There's one like it doesn't matter. Shut up. It's not about you. And then don't dead name them, please. Like just don't do that. It's it's not and like you could, I, I, like, this is just my, what I was feeling from the, from that small snippet was that she was kind of dismissive of the pronouns thing and her tweet that I just showed there also kind of, um, leans towards that, that she doesn't really believe in people using different pronouns than, you know, what their real gender says, you know, and then her her going like good for her good for him sorry and it's like i don't think you really mean that i don't think you really do mean that i think you have like a, a hatred towards trans people honestly and, and it sucks to come from people who are supposed to be progressive on lgbtq plus issues and then they're like eh, trans people eh. so come on like why do you do this i don't understand Trans people have to go through so much shit already. They're not trying to take anyone's place or space. They're just trying to live like normal fucking lives where they don't have to be afraid of violence or be prone to suicide and have, have the support that they need. Like, why is that so fucking hard? Yeah, they're just trying to live, goddammit. Yeah, just let trans people breathe, fuck's sake. It's it's really annoying, because it's not a zero-sum game. Like, that's how they these, like, TERFs view it. Like, if, if trans people get something, then it has to be away from the other LGBTQ plus people, which is not the case. That's not how it works. Like, just because gay people got the right to marriage, that didn't take anything away from straight people. And so, trans people being treated as human beings and not being killed and, and having support doesn't take away anything from other people. Like, literally nothing. So, to cap this off, let's be supportive of trans people. Let's understand them, be patient with trans people. Be considerate and show them some, some fucking love. Fuck TERFs. And fuck anyone who is purposely being transphobic and doesn't want to learn. Fuck them. If you don't want to see these people as people, fuck you. I'm going to give you an opportunity to grow, but you need to be willing to grow, all right? There's a lot of stuff that I don't understand about this either. And you don't need to understand everything about trans people, but you do need to listen and support them. Alright? And don't get mad if trans people get mad at you because you step on a landmine, okay? Because, the, because when you step on a landmine for them, it can be very painful for them. Be patient. Alright? Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, leave a comment underneath there, I shall read it, I shall reply. And I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on twitch.tv slash funwithfondue, link is down there. And hey, trans rights are human rights, have a great one, All right?